Here I have turned and I'm ready to begin row 24. Row 24, you're going to be doing a beginning cluster, chain 2 cluster, then chain 6, then 4 chain 5s, chain 6, double cluster, chain 3, double cluster. So we can go ahead and begin. I'm slip stitching into my chain 2 and beginning the cluster. Chain two, one, two, and do my next cluster stitch. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet in your next chain five loop. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do this four times in this row. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and single crochet. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Double cluster in your next double cluster. Chain three, one, two, three, and double cluster in your next double cluster. And chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we can look back here. So we have our chain six, four chain fives, chain six, double cluster, chain three, double cluster. Continue all the way across and I will see you again for row 25. Here I am starting row 25. So I have slip stitched into my chain two space, created my beginning cluster, chain two, cluster. And then we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to place three chain fives, because of course we did four chain fives in the previous row. So we're going to do one, two, three in this row. Single crocheting and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet and next chain five. And chain five. One more time. One, two, three, four, five single crochet in your last chain five space. Next, chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to double cluster in your next double cluster, chain six, double cluster in your next double cluster. I'm going to do that and then show you what that looks like. So this row, which is row 25, we're just going to continue in this fashion. You have placed a double cluster here, chain 6, double cluster, chain 8, 3 chain 5s, 1, 2, 3, chain 8, and repeat till the end 
I will see you again for row 26. Here I have turned and begun row 26. You want to do your beginning cluster, chain 2, cluster into the same space. Chain 8. Then we're going to place 2 chain 5's and then chain 8 again. So I'm single crocheting into my first chain 5 space and chaining 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Single crochet in your next chain 5 space. Chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Single crochet in your last chain 5 space. Now we have our two chain fives. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double cluster in your next double cluster. Chain two. And I am doing my second of that double cluster. So there's my double cluster right there. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in your chain six space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Double cluster in the next double cluster. And chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we'll just recap here. We've got our beginning double cluster, chain eight, two chain fives, chain eight, double cluster, chain five, single crochet in your chain six, chain five, double cluster, chain eight. We're going to repeat this all the way until the end of the row and I just wanted to place a note in here saying that this is the last bit of the yarn that I have of my first Karen cake. After row 26 your pattern is going to change. So right here it says pineapple point and row 27. So basically what's going to happen is we need to finish each one of these pineapples that we started. So we're going to start over here and basically make a pineapple point and then again when we get to the next pineapple. So we're going to of course start with the very first one here and you're going to do a beginning cluster, chain two cluster into your chain two space just like we've been doing. After completing your beginning cluster, chain two cluster, you're going to chain seven, then single crochet into your next chain five, chain five, single crochet in the last chain five, chain seven, and do your double cluster over here. So I'm going to go ahead and begin with a chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into my chain five space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the last chain five space. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then do my double cluster. And then we're going to turn for row 28. I'll meet back up with you again for row 28. Here I have turned for row 28. We're going to begin with a beginning cluster, chain two cluster, into the, our last chain two space. Then we're going to chain six, single crochet into our chain five here, chain six, and then do a double cluster and turn for the next row. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the beginning cluster.
cluster, chain two cluster, and I will meet back up with you in just a minute. After that, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet in your chain five space, and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last, we're going to double cluster into our last chain two space here. And then turn for row 29. I have turned to begin row 29. Now for row 29, we're going to do a beginning cluster. Chain two, cluster into the same space. Then chain three. One, two, three. Double crochet in your single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. And double cluster into the next chain two space. And then turn to begin row 30. Row 30 is super simple. We're just going to do a beginning cluster, chain two cluster. Then we're going to skip over this section and we're going to do a double cluster and then turn for the last step. So there's my beginning cluster. Chain two, cluster into the same space. Then I'm skipping right over this section and doing my double cluster. And now we turn for the next round. The last step to this pineapple point is to do row 31. So basically, you're just going to slip stitch into your chain two space, do a beginning cluster, and then cluster into the next chain two space. So don't chain two, just skip right over that and do your cluster into the next space. This pulls the point together so it's nice and clean. From here, you want to just snip your yarn and then pull that tail through the loop and you can sew in your ends. From here, we want to complete each one of the pineapples. So you're just going to replay row 27 through 31 and after that's all complete, I'm going to show you what my shawl looks like. Here I have completed the point on each pineapple, and from here we can go on to our pico edging. To begin our pico edging, we want to start on the unworked side of our beginning ring. So here I've got my yarn and my crochet hook, and I'm just starting my yarn right here, and chaining one. Now single crochet into that same space, chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch into your very first chain. Just like that. We're then going to chain one and single crochet back down into that ring. So there's our pico, and of course we just single crocheted. Now chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch again, and this forms another pico. 
chain one and single crochet into your row end here. Chain three, one, two, three. Slip stitch to form your picot. Sometimes those are a little bit difficult. Chain one and single crochet. We're gonna continue in this fashion all the way around our shawl, even up and down the points of the pineapple. So you're gonna go like up one side and down the other with these picots. So again, after you single crochet, you just chain three, slip stitch to form the picot, chain one, and single crochet. Repeat all the way around and I will see you in just a minute. I have completed my pico edging and this is a close up of one of the valleys. Thank you so much for watching part three of this three part tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it enough to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and leave me a comment. Also share it if you really liked it. Thank you so much for watching again. Have a lovely crochet day and I hope to see you in my next tutorial. Bye!